it's kind of funny that Hello Games has gone from overhype to no hype. I'm Mr. Natural, and this is my take on the new update. They just barely didn't say, hey, it been silent since the game was released. And I was a huge fan of it, of course. Uh, but the first thing you'll notice, there's three game modes. Just the new menu at the very beginning is a huge improvement, in my opinion, because you can get rid of old games, and there's three different types of ways that you can play. Now, of course, the first one, uh, I just popped up on my save, but you'll see a note on there. They regenerated the universe. So, pretty much, I think everybody's going to end up in a uh, starbase like I did. Um, and I did save up a couple of reloads, and my ship was underneath the planet, so I couldn't get to it. So those ended up being trash. I don't know if there's any way to fix that, but there's really no point. Because basically, I just say this is No Man's Sky Rebirth. I looked out in space, and all planet names and a lot of the discoveries are still there, as far as I can tell. But they pretty much regenerated the universe and just kept some of the names. But anyway, the three modes are what's really awesome. Uh, you got normal mode, it's and it's real easy to... I already said that, so I'm not going to... There's nine bullet points on the update. But the one thing that's pretty cool is this creative mode. Because basically, it's God mode. Um, and it's like, you don't really... You know, you can go explore a few planets. It's super casual mode. Uh, so, here, this is like a sped up me doing uh, God mode, creative mode, uh, just building it. Uh, you'll just wake up on a planet and um, there's a little building there. You saw me, you just walk into it and hit the little button and that's your building and then you just have like unlimited supplies and unlimited money and you can jump down in here and play around with building it. Uh, a lot of little components and stuff, a lot of stuff to put on the inside and stuff that actually uh, works so you saw that teleporter on there as soon as you get to a star base or a, a starship or what is it a, a space station um, there's a teleporter in there so it'll just teleport you right back down to this and it you know moves your ship with you so if you want to jump on your ship in the space station and take off you can or if you're at your base your space station it just automatically puts it there so, I had some fun just running around here. This is 15 minutes of me building stuff real quick. I'm calling this the uh, Last Chance Texaco. <laughs> uh, and I had put a landing pad there, and the ship came and flew down there and landed. And I went, huh, let me see. So I just walked up to it, uh, and I bought the sucker. So I, you could just sit there in this god mode and have some fun just fucking around with it. Let your kids do it. Your kids would have a blast. And especially since the game is really down uh, cheap, you can pick it up for like 20 bucks now. I paid full price for it, and I don't regret it. I had a blast. I was sitting at the center of the universe. Um, but uh, in my opinion, yeah, it's really worth taking a look at. I liked it even before. I just thought it all the hype and over-promising is what ruins it. Uh, and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.